Let's edit some images. I have six here ready to edit. They're going to be very quick and easy edits, but hopefully they will give you an understanding on how I work on my images after uh, shooting. I'm going to be using Lightroom on my iPad. So yeah, let's uh, do it. I took this uh, first image that you can see here at the golf course here in town. It was a beautiful day and this was a beautiful scene. I knew from the beginning that it was going to be a panorama because of how the trees were organized in the photo. So that's what we're going to be doing first. We're going to be changing the aspect ratio from the boring 3x2 to a more dynamic, maybe, if you will. I know how to describe it. but panorama aspect ratio as you can see here and now what I'm going to be doing is what I'm going to be doing for every image that is just going to increase the contrast make sure that the elements that I want to stand out in the image really do stand out and add some grain that's all I do with my images And this is pretty much it. The image is almost ready. Maybe I want to make the snow a little bit brighter, but the whites. But I think it's pretty much uh, ready. The only thing that I would like to do here is that uh, you might not have noticed, but here in the background, there is a power line that is annoying me a lot. You can't really see it from far away, but if you really pay attention and uh, look closely, you can see it. So we can try to remove that. As I said many times, there is no problem. I have no problem with removing stuff from the image that doesn't add anything of value. We're not trying to do journalism here. We are trying to create some art and some images. And this should be fairly easy to remove. I mean, we can go a little bit more in detail, but I think that it looks great already. We still have a power line here that we could work on later. But yeah, I think that this image is looking great so far. Let me show it to you full screen. And I just love it. I love it so much that let me show you. It's the one that I have as a wallpaper on my iPad. So yeah. Let's move on to the uh, next one. This one, I made this one in St. Joseph in Michigan on a very, very cold day. And there were these uh, fences all over the place. Some of them were like uh, falling down like this one and half buried in the snow. As you can see, this one is a little bit busier than the other one. It's not as clean. We're going to start where I started on the other one first by choosing the aspect ratio I want for this image. In this case, this is a square. Now we are gonna increase uh, again, the contrast. In this case, I want to uh, increase the contrast between the uh, fence, the dark fence and the uh, white snow, but also uh, to make the uh, clouds and the light that is going through the clouds stand out a little bit more. I think it's a very nice contrast. Okay, this is looking uh, pretty good when it comes to the uh, contrast that I was looking for. Now I just want to clean it up a little bit to remove all these uh, little distractions that we see all around. All right, this is looking already so much better, much uh, cleaner. But we can go even farther and I actually did for this image. I have a version here that I'm going to show you this one. I'm not going to remove. I'm not going to do this here in front of you because it would take a long time. But as you can see, I went uh, all over the background and removing more of those elements that were very distracting that don't add anything to the image. And this is the final version uh, that I, uh, I ended up with. Next one. I took this one from here from the balcony. Actually, you can see it here on the uh, bottom right a little bit of the balcony and uh, this light is uh, cut off too and that's because I was composing already in a square uh, in my camera even though the, my Sony camera doesn't have or doesn't let you compose in a square but it has a grid so I kind of uh, can guess what is going to fit in the frame and what it's not so we're gonna again 
transform this to one by one. And immediately you can see that we already have an image. The only things that we're gonna do here, you guessed it, is to increase the contrast and to remove the distractions. And this is pretty much the uh, final version. As you can see, I didn't do a good job down here removing that bush. Again, I have a better version that I made. There you go. As you can see, that corner looks much better. That bush is uh, gone. We compare it to the original. And as you can see, other than removing those distractions that again, I think is totally okay to do, is just uh, increasing the contrast and making sure that everything, every element uh, really stands out in the, in the image. Okay, next one. Again, let's uh, crop it to one by one. Let's increase the contrast. We can play as much as we want with these things. Uh, I do, I spend uh, quite a little bit of time playing with the grain, more grain, less grain, and seeing the differences. I play a lot with the vignette too, and with this slider here, clarity, because it adds even more contrast. But once again, I just wanna get rid of the distractions. In this case, those on the top right of this image, even this thing you hear that I don't, I don't like, and it doesn't add anything to the image. And there you go. These things are pretty easy to do with uh, digital photography and the images look so much better. All right, another one. This one, I uh, took it uh, pretty close to home here on one of my uh, morning walks. Again, square, there you go. What I like about this uh, uh, image of this uh, composition here is the convergence, if you will, of lines. This uh, crack on the road was the first thing that I saw. And I thought that it looked pretty cool leading to the uh, another uh, horizontal line here, oops, the uh, horizontal line on the fence and then another vertical line here on the tree. But then once uh, I started working in this image, I realized that there were many more lines in this image, like this one here, horizontal, another horizontal, vertical, horizontal, and a lot of verticals in the background that are the trees. I was not necessarily seeing that when I uh, composed this image, but I'm guessing that's uh, the reason why I decided to include these trees here in the background instead of uh, you know, just uh, cropping the image to something like that. At the uh, time when I shot this image, it just looked better, it just felt better. And only afterward, you might find an explanation to why that might be. Again, let's increase the contrast here. I do have a preset that does all of this uh, for me just to save some time and to uh, know which one of the images is worth working and which ones are not. This image might be the simplest one of the, the ones that I uh, show you. It has uh, nothing, it requires uh, nothing. It's uh, very good as it is. The crack on the road that was filled with ice and snow really stands out against the dark asphalt. Let's move on to the uh, last one. Let's convert it to square. It's a little bit tilted because I was paying attention to the tags. So let's make it perfectly horizontal there. There you go. I just wish this uh, duck was uh, here flying over the snow and not over the uh, creek because it would be uh, even greater contrast. But uh, I actually like it. I like it because you can still see these other two ducks. Well, there are a few more in the background, but you can see these two. And then you might discover the one that was 
hidden in plain sight there. The only thing we have left to do is, of course, uh, remove this traction. So we have uh, a little post here. And now all of this uh, here on the uh, left side to make it more symmetrical because there is nothing on the right side. So I would like to remove all of that. As I said before, the snow makes this uh, so much easier. If this was uh, grass or some other kind of surface, it could look more fake, but because it's all white, because it's all snow, you can just go ahead and remove everything and it will look very natural. Alrighty, and there we have the uh, final version of uh, the image. As you can see, we didn't do anything crazy. We just increased the contrast, making sure that the contrast we saw in the field between the highlights and the shadows are still there, making sure that our subject is still standing out and we can uh, use whatever tool we have available on Lightroom or whatever software you might be using to make it stand out even more. And that's about it. That's all I do with my edits. I try to keep it as simple as possible. I hope this was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.